Hey everyone, this is Just a Tech and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I will talk about how you can install the Pelrain jailbreak from your Windows machine and jailbreak your iOS 15 devices. But before that, please support and subscribe my new YouTube channel that is Just a Tech 2.0 as soon I will upload some exclusive content there. So you will get the channel link from the description. And recently I have uploaded this video that is the Pelrain jailbreak that using the Mac OS and jailbreak your iOS 15 devices that is the same Tethered jailbreak in that I will explain each and everything like what are the devices supported and how you can install it. But that video is from Mac OS, but in this video, I will show you how you can do that on your Windows machine. As many of you are requested in the comments that you want some Windows tutorial, so here we are with a Windows one. And if you want to watch that Mac OS tutorial, check out the description link, you will get the link there. So let me just go to my computer screen and start this process. All right, to install the Pelrin jailbreak through your Windows machine, first you need a Linux environment. Like why I'm saying this, as Pelerin jailbreak requires so many libraries that are only available in the Linux or Mac. So first you need a Linux distribution. You can use it any like Ubuntu, Xubuntu, Kali Linux, Pirate OS or any distribution you are feel you are okay with that. You can use it that based on the Linux environment. Like there are some examples. First one is the Ubuntu. You can download the latest LTS version from the official website or you can use the Xubuntu that are small in size as compared to the Ubuntu as Ubuntu size is 3.56 GB around and the Kali Linux also big in size and the third one is the X Ubuntu so you can download the live environment you can download the live ISO file and you can directly boot it without installing it but if you want to dual boot and you want to make it permanent you can dual boot also there are so many videos already available on the internet you can search it on YouTube and you can watch and dual boot with any Linux distribution and with your Windows machine you can create the partition and install it in your single system without data loss and if you want me to make the dual boot video you can write it on the comments and i will make for you so you can check the size of these linux distribution and you can download it accordingly also you will require to make the usb bootable so for that you can install the rufus or you can use the balena hatcher so you can download both of these tools from their official website and you can use any of them so for this video process i will use the ubuntu latest version but as i mentioned you can use any of them you want So now the download is done. So now let me just show you how you can make the USB bootable. Many of you already know but if you are a beginner, you can follow the same guide. You need to import the ISO file in the Balena Hatcher and import your USB stick and select that and make the USB bootable. For the Rufus also, the process is same. You need to import the ISO file, select your USB stick and after that click on flash. Now it's done. Now close the Rufus tool, restart your system. Now next you need to go to your BIOS settings or a boot manager settings. You need to select your USB stick and boot it from. And the BIOS settings and the boot option might be different as per your PC model. So you can search it on internet how you can enter in the BIOS setting according to your system. Now select the first option and hit on enter. Now you will see some verbose boot and Ubuntu logo according to your system like if you have a UFI mode it will show like this and if you boot legacy mode it will show some verbos boot and boot the Ubuntu in live mode so wait for it to get complete now it's here now you will get two options one is to try in the live mode other one is install if you want to install and make the dual boot you can click on install but that will require to create the partition in your hard disk and then it's a different process so as i mentioned in the starting if you want to make the dual boot you can watch some videos or i will make it and then you can install but if you want to in try it in the live mode you can click on the try button and then it will boot without data loss so now it's booted completely and you will see the desktop screen all right now let's continue the process but first let me just change the background as i'm not getting the just a tech background feel so now it's cut now let's continue so if you are new to this jailbreak so let me just give you the brief idea about the jailbreak we will use the pelrin jailbreak and it's the official github page i already gave all the required information in my mac os tutorial in the depth so if you want to watch that first watch that you will get all the required details and then you can continue this video and this exploit based on the checkmate so all the devices that support the checkmate exploit you can easily jailbreak with this so currently this method works for the iphone 6s to iphone x ios 15 to the latest 15.7.1 
and the corresponding iPad model that support the Checkmate exploit. And if you guys want more exclusive iOS update and news, you can follow me on my Telegram group and channel. Links are in description. Now the Pelerin jailbreak comes with a two important mode. One is the semi tethered mode and other one is a normal tethered mode. Both the modes are supported by tweak injection so that you can run your tweaks after the jailbreak with the Celio package manager. For this video also I have created this instruction file so that it will be easy for you to install one by one all the command. Like if you guys are remember in my previous macOS tutorial of the Pelrin jailbreak I have created the readme file in that all the commands are there with important information of that exploit. So for this video also I will make the command list and give you in the description so you can download and copy paste one by one and easily install the Pelrin jailbreak break all right as i mentioned about the two mode one is the semi tethered and other one the tethered mode in the semi tethered the exploit will take up to the 10 gb space on your disk so make sure if you have a lower model like 8 gb or 16 gb don't use a semi tethered mode if you have a lower model you can use a normal tethered mode if you have a 32 gb and above you can use a semi tethered mode in the semi tethered mode they will create the fake storage or fake disk in your device that up to the 10 gb space so don't use in the lower end devices all right now i have already gave you the important information regarding this process now first open the terminal make sure you open the terminal on your desktop right click on it and click on terminal now copy and paste one by one all the commands now all these commands are including some important libraries that are help you to install the pell range jailbreak like some are the python and pip and the other lib mobile device recovery drivers so you can install it one by one and if you face any error make sure you first update your repository and then you can install it one by one and you can download this command list from the description you will get the blog link just go there and easily download it and if you face any terminal package error like this you can solve it by the given help on the terminal copy paste command again that and it will work And make sure you use the sudo before all these commands so that you will get the root permission and you can install it easily without any issues. Now it's done. When you install all this command, make sure you run the apt get update in the last so that all the package repository will be updated to the latest. Alright, now all the required packages is downloaded. Now open the official GitHub page to download the Pelrain and clone it on your desktop. You can find this command on the readme file also so you can copy from that. So copy the command and open the terminal on your desktop. You can see the desktop location and after that paste it and hit on enter and it will clone the Pelrin folder on your desktop. So wait for it to get complete. Alright now it's done. Now you need to open the terminal inside the Pelrin folder. So make sure the path is correct. Open the Pelrin folder. Right click on that folder and open the terminal. You will see the Pelrin name on the terminal that means you are good to go. Now you can install the main command to install the Pilrin jailbreak into your device. So the command is sudo space dot slash pilrin dot sh and you need to type hyphen hyphen tweaks and then your iOS version and semi tethered or without semi tethered. So now as you can see I'm running on the iOS 15.5 at the moment on the iPhone SE first generation and my device is currently in the no jailbreak state. I've already installed the CDO last time so that's why it's showing the CDO icon on the home screen. I'm my device is on the 64 GB variant so I'm using the semi tethered part but if you have a lower model only use the normal one 
So first you need to connect your device and make sure you trust it on your computer as well as on your device. So the trust will pop up on your device as well as on your Linux system and the iPhone name on the top. So now we are good to go. Now next you need to open another terminal. You can open it in any location but make sure that the main terminal will be open inside the Pelerin folder. You can check out the path on the terminal. And all these important points are written in the readme file so you can download and read like which mode you want to use and in which condition like semi threaded and threaded as I already discussed in the previous part so you can read. Alright now copy the command that is sudo space dot slash pelerin dot sh space hyphen hyphen tweaks space your current iOS version of your device space hyphen hyphen semi hyphen tethered if you want to use semi tethered and if you want to use the tethered mode remove the semi tethered line and on another terminal you have to copy and paste two command from the usb mux d you can copy the command from that file this command will create the ssh connection and the request connection between your device and linux computer so that process will go on and there is no interruption between your ssh connection so you can copy the command one by one and paste it and don't close that window just minimize it you need to make sure that this window will be open until all the complete process if you close that your device might be disconnect and you need to run that command again so now you can see i've minimized that window so you need to do that and now before running the main command of bell range jailbreak you need to put your device into the dfu mode Now after that press on enter and you will see it will boot or sending the ram disk file. Now we are good to go. Now wait for it to get complete. Now you can see on the terminal showing waiting for the connection and it receiving that's why we already run these command so we are good to go and if you are getting some errors like connections are not good you can run both these command and don't close that window and the process will again continue from that step. Alright now the process is done and you can see all done on the terminal and your device will boot to the normal mode. And the first time you will run you need to open the tips app i have already installed the cilio that's why it's showing there so you have to open the tips app and then install it and you need to allow all these things you can click on allow all and the last option that is do all click on that it will allow all the things and after that click on install and it will install the bootstrap and cilio Now it's done. Now you can see that just go back on your home screen and you will see the Celio and the substitute icon. Open the Celio and first update all the required packages so that you will get the smooth experience of the Celio. And you can add the sources and the compatible tweaks that are available for the Pell Range jailbreak. The list of the compatible tweaks you will get from the official GitHub page. So now you can see everything looks good and fine and working. So you can try this method and easily jailbreak. So this is the semi threaded method. So if you reboot your device, you need to re-jailbreak it again with the same command from that system. So make sure you use the dual boot, not the live mode. Otherwise, in the light mode, you need to reinstall all these packages again and again. So make sure the dual boot is better as all your data will be saved after the reboot also. And and these are the list of all the compatible tweaks from the official GitHub page. I've just made the live video just to show you guys how you can install that. So dual boot is better. And if you want me to make the dual boot video, just comment me there. I will make it. So that is all for this video. So till then, goodbye, take care and peace out.